Welcome to the tutorial. Know about electrical panel and maintenance. In the last part, we covered schematic drawings and a general study about MSB, SMB, and DB. Know that knowledge about schematic is very important in the field of maintenance and repairing of the electrical panel. Electrical Panel Part 2 Here providing some more explanation related to schematic diagram and electrical panel. Portions included in this part Form of separation, ingress protection, electromechanical interlock and auto transfer switch of separation is standardized in BSEN 60439 and IEC 60439 that provides instruction to the distribution of bus bars and breakers in the panel. The drawing refers to the key symbols to follow functional units and the panel. The pictures of the panel show the different models of form of separation. separation provided bus bar and functional unit form 2 main bus bar is separated from the functional unit Bus bars and functional units separated each other. Form 4 bus bars, functional units, and bus bar terminals separated each other. protection IP indicated with two digits the first digit indicated the protection against solids and second stand for protection against liquid of two digits standardized in IEC 60529. IP00 means no protection. IP68 indicates full protection, 6 indicate protection from dust and 8 denotes immersion in water up to 3 meters. IP rating provided depends on the requirement of the equipment and its area of use. The first digit of IP protection against solids. 0. No protection. 1. Protection against solids up to 50 mm size. 2. Protection against solids up to 12 mm size. 3. Protection against solids up to 2.5 mm size. 4. Protection against solids up to 1 mm size. 5. Protection against dust. 6. Complete protection from dust. The second digit of IP protection against liquids. 0. No protection. 1. Protection against direct falling water. 2. Protection against spraying the water in a 15 degree angle from the vertical. 3. Protection against water spray in a 60 degree angle from the vertical. 4. Protection against spray water from all directions. 5. Protection against low-pressure water jets from all directions. 6. Protection against strong jets of water from all directions.
7. Protection against the effect of immersion in the water up to 1 meter. 8. Protection against the effect of water immersion up to 3 meters. Electromechanical interlock. This type of interlocking is provided in the panels that require two different incomers such as main power source and secondary power source. source is from the normal electrical stream and the secondary shall be from the local power generator. The system is using the buildings where continuous power supply is required. In this condition, only one incomer ACB should be close at a time. Mechanical interlock is provided in between the main ACB or in the closing contactors of ACB for safe operation. controls when one breaker is close the other will be open. This locking system did not allow both breakers to be close at the same time but it allows keeping open both breakers at the same time. interlock. This locking system provides in the control circuit of the incomer ACB. The power for the control circuit is distributing through two different control relays. Refer to the SLD provided here, the coil supply of relay K2 connected through the NC normally close, of relay K1 and coil supply of relay K1 connected through NC of K2. Thus control circuit provides power to only one circuit to operate at a time. Relay K1 supplying to control mainstream incomer breaker and relay K2 for second incomer breaker. More details provided in the automatic mains failure control system. Auto transfer switch is using to deliver secondary power supply to the panels which have only a single incoming breaker. ATS is a separate section attached to the main panel. This unit has two different incomer sections and one common outgoing section to load. Typical design of the ATS system given in the SLD shows two power source, one output, and control. and functions of ATS included in part 3. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Subscribe the channel to get updates and new videos.